Hola niños! Welcome to a day in the life. Hurricane Eugene? I just want to say this now because it's really annoying me. It's literally not a hurricane. It's a storm. Urena, unit. I think the hurricane's called Eunice. Don't have a Scooby-Doo. I actually failed geography. I used to get two iced coffees and take a nap. Don't recommend doing it, but it was very fun while it lasted. Anywho, um, I can't tell if I'm really self-obsessed or if I'm deeply insecure. I don't know which one it is. One minute, I'm like, fuck me, Izzy. The people that would kill to be like me. And then the next minute, I'm like, Why? Why? See, this is what I mean. Like, I look really cute right now, but at the same time, I'm like, oh. No. Maybe I'm about to start my period. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, Hurricane Edna, or whatever her name is, Eunice, is currently throwing up a fit outside, and it's stressing me out a little bit. Um, I don't actually know what I'm going to film, because maybe this could be a video of... Do you not fuck it? I don't have a fucking Scooby-Doo what this video is, but hey, welcome to my life once again. Also, fun facts that I figured out the other day. Every time I'm drunk, I become fluent in Spanish. What a skill. Some people cry. Some people throw up. Some people literally forget how to walk. I learn a whole new language. Isn't that brilliant? I'm thinking I might pull an all-nighter. Maybe this will be an all-nighter, but I don't want to pull an all-nighter tonight. Here's the issue. So, why am I filming, you may be asking. Hmm, let me rack my brain. I have no fucking clue. When do I ever know what is going on? I hope this is a fun video, whatever it turns out to be. I'm getting a tattoo next week. Subscribe to see that one. And to pay my bills. I don't get paid for this. I literally would be fine not getting paid for it. I love talking. I love talking. Anywho, now that I've done my little ADHD ramble of the day, Adios, bitches. Fuck's sake. Here's another thing, actually. You know what? I'm not done. All I've done recently is complain. Complain, complain, complain about anything and everything. The fucking weather, my grades. Even though, actually, no, I haven't been complaining about my grades. My grades, spot on. They're not A's, but they're spot on. Life at the minute is fucking great. And yet, I still seem to find something to complain about. For example, I'm sorry, I need to move. I can't sit still for more than five seconds. All I've done over the last two months is complain about not having a boyfriend. Complaining about being 18 years old and not having a boyfriend since I was, like, 12. Some guy starts talking to me. I'm fucking bored. I don't like it. Leave. Leave. Who gave you the... Who has the audacity to message me? <laughs> That sounds bad, but I just, I can't do it. I, like, I don't want to know how your day was. I don't want to know what subject you're studying. I don't want to know what you had for dinner last night. If we put the laughing emojis, it's not funny. LOL, LMAO, does not mean it's funny. It stresses me out. What happened to good old dating, hmm? Hmm? What happened to meeting people through friends and just going on a date? I mean, like I said, Hurricane, UG, what? You, Eunice is stopping a lot of things right now and so did the coronavirus. I don't get it. I'm either complaining about people trying to talk to me or complaining about not having a boyfriend. Maybe my chakras are overactive. Being a teenager is rough, but at the same time, it's dead fucking easy. I have nothing to worry about. And I'll still find something to complain about. I think I need to find a hobby because this is my hobby and there's no structure. It's like my drama essays. They just go downhill after the first paragraph. Do you know what? I always start hobbies, but um, then I stop them. Here's an example. I have been learning to play guitar since I was seven years old. I'm now 18. my youtube purge for today hey welcome back i know i said it was going to be a day in the life but you know what i kind of died after that last clip so here we are like three days later i've decided i'm going to try and get my life together i know i've tried to do this about 20 million times but life isn't meant to be together you know it's meant to be fragmented and a bit all over the place and very very gnarly I have a very busy week, but not today. Today is a very chill day. Well, I say that, I have a doctor's appointment and an eye test because I'm fucking blind. Like, do you know what? I wish I could see, but everything is blurry out this eye. My room's a fucking mess. 
I don't even have to say that at this point. Do you know what? I'm a Virgo as well. It's just a flawed robe. I think that's just a Virgo thing. It's to be organized but messy. Do you know what I mean? Like that isn't messy, but it's messy. Do you know what I mean? Like that is organized, but it's messy. Yay! Yay! Getting my life together for hot girl summer. Yay! Let's tidy my room. Okay, well I tidied my room and now I'm studying media. Did you know that a neophiliac is a person who is optimistic about the impact of the new media? Do you know what I have realised? I don't think it's a bad thing to not be productive every single day. Mind you saying that I have just meditated, but, and I'm going to the gym, but I don't think you need to necessarily be doing something 24 seven. And I think that's where I kind of like, get caught up is because I'm still in school full time. I have a job. I live at home. I don't need to be buying my own groceries. I don't need to be running errands. Actually there was, I do need to return a parcel but I don't wanna do that. I don't need to be constantly revising every time that I'm free. And so when I say I wanna get my life together for 2022, I mean I wanna accept the life I'm living for 2022. The Power of Now, I've been reading that book for a long ass time but it's a brilliant book. So. It's all about living in the moment. If I wanna live in the moment and sit here and binge watch Euphoria, I'm gonna do it. But if in the moment I'm like, hmm, I could do some schoolwork, I'm gonna do that schoolwork. But I'm not gonna stress about not doing schoolwork while I'm doing something else that I'd rather be doing because why would I force myself to do something I don't wanna do? Okay, this kind of sounds bad, but what I meant is like, why would I sit down and watch something and then be stressed about not doing schoolwork when I can do that some other time, you know, if I'm not in a rush, I don't need to be doing schoolwork 24 seven. Stay in school kids, but don't do it all the time. It's fucking annoying. Realistically, I'm not gonna be a psychologist. I'm not gonna be a sociologist. I'm not gonna be a drama teacher or a theater practitioner. So what's the point in stressing? I have time. My exams, they're in the future and I've done revision today. There's nothing wrong with sitting down for three, four, five hours and just doing nothing. Because actually, like I said, I've meditated, I'm going to the gym, I have an eye appointment, I have had a doctor's appointment. I tidied my room, you know? Like, my life isn't falling apart. I'm not dying. I actually have a great life at the minute, but I just always feel like I should be doing something. And then that's where I get stressed is because if I don't have anything to do, then I'm like, oh my God, my life is crumbling. My life is falling apart when I'm literally 18 years old, still in school. Like I can just sit here and enjoy the moment in my room with my donkeys and not feel guilty because realistically, I'm not gonna be here forever. So why don't I just sit back and enjoy the life I've got, you know? Let me have my toaster and my TV and my hairdryer and my steel belted radials and I won't say anything. Just leave me alone. That's my drama monologue if you couldn't tell. Anywho, um, I don't really know what this video was, but I feel like I said that every video. So I'm going to say I know exactly what this video was. I hope you enjoyed. I think I'm going to end it there because I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And like I said, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to observe my life and enjoy my life and stop complaining. That's all I've got to do for 2022 is stop complaining. It lowers my frequency. My energy levels need to be high. Hence why I'm getting a tattoo to remind me. Adios. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe. I just got off the phone with my doctor about my vagina. And it was great. And the last time I saw a doctor about my vagina, they made me cry. So that's brilliant.